Yo, 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 what up, everybody? It's DJ Mike and Moran back with another BPTV. I'm excited for this week's guest. I'm a big fan. She is a viral sensation that started three years ago. She's one of the youngest DJs that I know, DJ in an international festival at seven years old. She can sing, she can dance, she's produced a song here, right here in Bali Pride Studios. I mean, she's just blowing up like crazy. She's only nine years old. She has 20,000 followers on Instagram. Bring her here right now. Check it out. Betty or not, here I come. 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 All right, everybody, we got DJ Ali in the house. Special guest. What up? Um, so. Ali, you started off at a very young age. Um, yes. How did your, you know, career in music start? Like, what, what were the early influences? Okay, so my dad is a DJ, and I always see him like almost every day DJing. So I really wanted to do it. So one day I asked him to DJ, and I did it, and I just really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> know that you had like other influences with music like you play the piano you sing so did that influence you to become a DJ like tell me a little bit about that um, yes because I play the piano and I, I do singing and that's included to music and when I DJ that that has the piano and it has the singing so that's why I play. I was there on your first DJ gig. It was a wedding that went viral on Facebook. Um, so how did how did that happen? How did it make you feel? I mean, that was your first gig. Everybody remembers the first gig, so tell us yes. a bit about that. So, my dad was supposed to DJ, but I asked him, can I please, please, please DJ? And he said yes, and from there, I just enjoyed it so much, so I just went full on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you rocked the crowd. You rocked the crowd. And then one thing led to another. You're DJing an international festival, Wonder Fruit. I mean, Things happen so fast. Like, how did that? How did that come about? How did? So yeah, what after, happened? after I would say about a week or something, uh, the video we posted in Instagram and it went viral, I guess. And then Wonderfruit asked my dad if they want to come, if they want us to come to Wonderfruit for this year, DJing there, and we said yes to Thailand. And yeah, it just after that it just got bigger and bigger, and I got asked to more. DJ Crazy. I mean, like, everybody was there watching you rock the crowd. Next day, 200 articles get written about you. It just yeah. went, like, crazy. So I know you started producing with one of our very own, even, uh, Pear QX. He's a producer here in Bali Praia. I know you're rapping. And so you're producing, you're DJing. Like, what's next for Lil Ale? So I DJ, but I enjoy singing and dancing and rapping more. So... I might just keep on going with singing and rapping for new songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're excited on what's to come. So, I mean, you know, you're, you're a young kid. You have so much talent. You're an inspiration to so many kids all around. Like, how, you know, do you have any message for them, for other kids that are trying to start out? Like, what can you say? Like, you know, just uh, say it. Yeah. Okay, so just be yourself, keep practicing, and follow your heart, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for coming by. You are on your way to stardom. There's still so much coming out, like, you know, for, for what, what's going to happen for you. So big, big congrats already. I'm a fan. I know a lot of people are fans here. And so, you know, thank you for coming down and speaking to us. Thanks for tuning in to another BPTV. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Bali Praia on Instagram for more news and updates and I'm your host DJ Mikey Moran catch you in the next one peace bye